Cameras are rolling. I have some space left on my memory card. Let's do a nerd vlog. Ready? Go. A nerd vlog! It's been so long since I've done a nerd vlog. I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin on a nerd vlog. I'm just gonna start talking to the camera. This is my, this is my R2-D2 pop topper thing. And what's interesting is a pint glass fits in there. And then I've got an R2-D2 Stein. I still have the polisher right behind me there and I've been trying to polish some models as I've printed them. This is the, the low poly Donkey Kong from Flowalistic, of course. I think he's got these up on pin shape and the, it's interesting, the, the, the smoothing action of the polisher really does a great job on some things. Uh, I'm getting some weird Z ribbing and uh, I need to get to the bottom of that. It could be how the printer printed something or, or how the la layers were laid down or the angle or something. So I'm still doing some investigation there. Though uh, Luby's Dragon, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious to print some more models for the uh, smoothing process because it seems like you need to design models to take advantage of the smoothing process itself that the polisher does. Um, it's, it's just one of those things. I think that, I don't know, I think there's more to see there and I think I've got to do some more investigation. <laughs> How's my hair? Yeah, all right. Ooh, ooh, I've got, I've got other stuff. I do have uh, a dedicated video coming out on this, but let's move, let's move these guys aside. Sorry, R2. Uh, this is a Tron light cycle. It doesn't stand up, but I, I just put this in Cura and I told Ultimaker to use PVA supports and I'm not gonna do a close up yet. I'm saving that for the video, but this is a bottom layer for that support. In fact, the tip of this wheel and the tip of this wheel were the only things that were touching the build plate and it built everything out on that and how smooth and how literally perfect the bottom layers of this model are. It's crazy, crazy impressive. So as far as PVA goes, that's how it builds it up in it. See, can you see that? There we go. Yeah, I'll do that. It builds it up just like this. Here's another model that I just printed and it builds it up. This one's going to be interesting and I will dissolve it for the video I'm doing on the PVA supports, but this is a, a low poly Groot that someone in the 3D printing group I'm a part of made and it's just awesome. This though, this is a little fidget toy that I had printed and I thought, well, let's, let's do something interesting. So in Cura, I stacked six pieces on top of one another with a slight space in between each one. And in between each one was a PVA support layer. So this giant stack of pieces should dissolve away and, and leave nothing but the pieces and the PVA should go away. So that's, that's interesting. This, this is a hoverboard. No, not like one of those roller thingies, but a back to the future style hoverboard. And it prints like this. And the idea is to have the support go here and then the two floaty pod things are like that. Uh, but it, well, it, <laughs> it, this will dissolve off or I can just pull it off. Oh, should I? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. One of the things about PVA that you do need to realize is it, it bonds well to PLA and nylon and, and it does a good job, but peel off as much as you can before you drop it in water because that way there's less for the water to dissolve. It's weird. It's just like a, like a photo negative or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Oh, here's something cool. <laughs> it's a mini me. Uh, this is printed in the Gray V2 resin and uh, printed on the Form 2. It took, uh, it took overnight, but can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. See, he stands up on his own. High five, little Joel. High five. I don't know, I may paint him. I may not paint him. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. There's little, little zits from where all the support material was, but I can... Uh, I can sand those off or something. But if I sand them off, then I'm gonna need to paint it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and look, look. I've got a new, well, it's not a new studio. It's really the same space, but it's, it's arranged differently. So my desk is over here. 
Uh, behind me right now is the Form 2 and the Old Team Maker 3. I will eventually get a shelf here because I've got some really cool stuff coming from Travis of A Pyro Design. And he's doing custom face plates for Ulti Makers. And I've got a very special one coming that I get to show off soon. Those will go back here. The form will move. My G Max is right here. This may stay because it needs a very large surface to exist on. Right there is my monitor where I can see me. Hi, Joel. I've got my laptop right here. This is my editing laptop. I've got uh, a new, this is, this is new too. Um, a friend of mine had a, uh, like a, a year old technology laptop. Um, he didn't need it anymore. Someone was upgrading, whatever. But he said, here, Joel, you can have it. Yes. It does seem to handle video editing better than my MacBook Pro at this point. And it's got USB 3. So speedy imports are incredibly important because sometimes like on my Mac Pro back here, importing video at a, a, slow, a USB 2.0 speed takes 20 minutes, 30 minutes. On here, it's just a couple minutes. Uh, and then on the drive on here, I can just back it up to my Drobo and everything's all secure and good to go. So I can edit here once I'm done and then I back it up to a place. Oh, let's see. So as far as 2017 is concerned, the channel, I just passed 50K. Uh, I, I'm really experiencing some good growth. You should see some really cool things coming soon. Yes, I'm planning a 50K giveaway, but originally 50K was predicted to hit around March. It's a little early, so I have to talk to the people that were sponsoring the giveaway to figure out something there. I've got the wildcard series with Protopasta coming up this year. I've talked to Alex over at Protopasta and he's pretty excited to get this going. I've got my Spotlight series and I've already got two chosen. The idea is they'll give me three to five minute videos introducing themselves to you, my audience, and then they'll be able to hopefully show you something cool and then you might subscribe to them if you like them. And Fan Mail Friday, is returning. I just need to nail down the model that I'm going to use as this year's Bender Bank. And the recipient will, of course, be Seattle Children's Hospital during Radiothon next December. Wow. Hey, you know what? I haven't done a nerd vlog in so long. This was fun. Let's do this more often. Uh, if you want changes or more information in something like this, let me know down in the comments. If you think nerd vlogs should be live, let me know if you think that's a good idea. Find me on Twitter, I'm at Joel Telling. You can find me uh, on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash 3D Printing Nerd. I'm on Instagram, uh, Instagram slash Joel Telling, I think will get to me. And uh, man, thanks again for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to keep up on anything else that I'm gonna produce. Give it a thumbs up if you like nerd vlogs. Again, leave me some cool comments down below. In fact, if you, if you had something awesome for lunch, I would love to hear about it. And that's it for now. Hey, you know what? Hug each other more often, because I love you guys. As always, high five.